Alright, what's going on guys? Smothering here. We're back with another video, of course. Um, so I will be showing you guys how I make my thumbnails, like how I make mine, not like exactly how to. What am I saying? Well, anyway, I'm gonna at least show you guys how I make my thumbnails because there's no right way to make thumbnails. And also, you'll need Photoshop for this. I mean, there are ways to get it Photoshop for free. Um, cracked Photoshop. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys to crack it or anything like that, but uh, it is possible. I'm just gonna say that. And also, before we jump into it, I'm actually gonna show you guys two ways to make the thumbnails. Uh, the first one is gonna be in 3D, like you're gonna see yourself from a third perspective. And uh, the other one is gonna be from your first perspective when you hit somebody, you know? All right, so I just hopped on Badline Client. So for the first one, we're actually gonna use single player. I know this is a different way of making thumbnails, but I actually have like all a lot of ranked Skyward's maps downloaded already. We're actually gonna use one of those so we don't have to actually jump into a game when we get our clips. Okay, it was a while ago I used Battling Clown. Oh my, what is this? All right, let's use Fortress instead. What is this? Okay, you know what we're actually we're, it's it doesn't matter it's fine um okay well firstly you want to figure out where you want to make the thumbnail you know um where it's going to be from and you can just pick out any armor from your inventory just take an anvil right here uh take some enchantment book just enchant just put some random thing on it and then just like get a chest plate then get some and this just, just get a iron Helmet and iron leggings, and then why is my FPS mod so small? But anyways, you can just turn on replay mod here, and then you can see it's a recording here. You can just like run around, see how it looks, run around, and then just you can just decide later what to, to what to make. You can take a few few screenshots as well. So when you're done recording, you want to go into the clip, and you can now see yourself flying around in creative mode just like cheating uh, okay let's see this i mean this looks decent i think i'm just gonna take the screenshot right here all right let's see this that's kind of nice as well okay i'm gonna take a screenshot here here as well Alright, so now we are in Photoshop, um, I recommend using some kind of uh, graphics pack like Trippis, he has a very good one. I'll I'll leave it in the description if you guys want to download it, uh, but it really has, you can save like a few effects just from this video anyway. So I'm just going to name this like Potato Head and then we just click create. Now we have this new, uh, well, layer. Yeah, so now you just wanna search up your actual screenshot. And you just put the screenshot here. You can make um, the picture bigger. And then upscale it, upscaling. Uh, just make it bigger. Um, just reminder, this is just how I make mine. You can also put in, uh, when 3D, you can uh, have a picture of yourself when you hit somebody. So both of them are in the picture, but for this, I'm just going to make it like this. And this is actually really simple. There's not much here to do. What you want to do is want to use the lasso tool Then you can just like uh, click around the player to highlight it like this. It does, it, it's not very important for it to be like exactly as good as possible because when you zoom in, you can see like you can't really follow exactly because it's, it's going to take hours and it's still not going to look as good as if you just make straight lines. So don't 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 try and make it perfect because uh, it, it's just going to end up looking worse, to be honest, from my experience.
all right so now we are done with that uh, you can just right click it and press layer via copy so it makes uh, another layer and now i would just add on some like um some like vibrance so the background is like has more colors kind of so it looks like warmer i guess they can also add on some crosshatch on both the background and the player just so it like smoothens out everything then what you do here is you go to blur radio blur uh put zoom and best and change this to like 18 i'd say and then like make it look like it's running from something uh i'm gonna change the radio blur a bit i'm gonna make it like a bit more here so it's a bit more centered i think that looks fine then you can save these like uh these uh, filters they can use on the player especially so it looks like more smooth these are the effects i use with this one inner shadow copy the, these settings you can save them them as well and just pause the video and then what, what I usually also do is I make a, a second layer. I make it black. I press this one. Uh, I can I can show you the effects for this one as well. Uh, it's just pretty much in a glow color dodge item. And then after I press that one, I click on this one. So it makes this like dark thing. Now you can add on like text, but you can just put something. I don't know. Okay, I can't spell. It's like put it here. Make take some random font. And I, I really don't, I'm just putting some random text, to be honest. Uh, you can put whatever you want there. Make like an arc. And then maybe add like more text below. What is this? Oh my, this looks horrible. <laughs> okay, wait. I gotta fix this. Maybe put some other fonts. I don't know. I mean, honestly, this looks pretty bad. But it's just because I... I don't usually put text in my videos. But... You can. Yeah. Nah. Maybe I'll put the player above. Okay, that looks a bit better, I think. You, you can barely read this, but that's not the point. But yeah, this is how I make my thumbnails, pretty much. And uh, I'll show you the other part. But you can just export this. Export as. Then just save this somewhere. All right, so for this next way to actually make um, a thumbnail from first perspective, you can just jump into the recording you just made and then find like a clip where you fight someone. Uh, I'm going to try to do that now. This this map is actually pretty laggy in my opinion. Like I get like uh, lag spikes okay. on this map. I go here. Oh, this guy was cheating. I remember this video. Uh, then like, okay. don't think. Well, yeah, it's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna lower the volume on this one because there's no point of having volume on this. I can't type. Um, uh, I guess it's kind of good, but all right. So what I will do now is I will take a screenshot of this. I think I got it. Then we just find a part where the sword is in. Okay, I can. This is fine. Okay, now I have both the screenshots. So we are back in Photoshop. 
we're just gonna name this some random thing I don't you don't need to um, remember so now I bring in this layer I can just make this like a bit more focus on the player maybe a bit smaller looks looks good then we make a new layer and put it in the other screenshot yes it's just fine and you can just now edit out the sword on this one uh, that's your main focus you want to edit out the sword and as usual it doesn't have to be exact on point because these pixels are so small that it would be like so hard to make it exact as it looks like yeah but this is taking a little bit while because i think this is like a 32x or 16x 64x i'm not quite sure um but it, as long as it, it, since it has like s s small like pixels but still not that small so you can like just make a straight line it takes a bit longer you can just go through the text it's it's fine anyway then you can just go down here and just go straight line over here boom you don't need to put all the entire sword you can just this fine and now we can just delete this oh wait this is the wrong one we can delete this one delete this layer we have the sword now we're gonna actually cut out the player instead I'm just gonna start up here this is where I usually start Alright, so now Lavia copy. Now we have both the sword and the player. Uh, but actually, the sword has this little thing, so I think we can like remove it in some way. You can just like just Alt and then click and then just like ah, uh, that was a mistake. Brush. Gotta make a way smaller brush for this. Uh, Just gonna make and then alt click wait oh uh it's the wrong one it's like it's like try to make it not it's, it people aren't gonna notice it anyway but just like so just like to make sure you know okay this actually looks bad but you know, it's it's fine. It is what it is. That looks so terrible. What? Okay, people aren't gonna notice that anyway. It's fine. So now what we do is actually we change the size of. What did I just click? Okay, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna change the size of the sword. Oh, we're, we're not. I'm not gonna put like the graphy part in the video. Uh do people know? It? People are not gonna notice that. Nah, it's fine. I mean, you're gonna notice it now, but uh, I'm not sure how big I want the sword to be. Um, but I'm actually gonna put cross hatch on everything right now. Cross cross hatch on the background, on the player. On the sword and I'm gonna actually this last time put on some vibrance and then a bit saturation adjust as well uh, don't notice much of a difference but yeah now I'm gonna motion blur not motion blur radio blur zoom best 
put it at like 18. Uh, this can be a bit here. All right, uh, and then we put on the filter. Uh, and I can just go around, try different ones, try see which ones looks the best. I think this looks decent. It's kind of dark, but oh, this looks smooth. This looks smooth. I mean, it's pretty much like this one. Then we put on some on the sword. Can, like put actually that one, the strongest one. And then make a new layer. If you guys don't really know what to do, you can just copy what I'm doing right now. Like a white. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm just going through this as I would normally do it. You guys can like follow or not. Nah, you can try. You can try, try some different things. Uh, Cause there's no right way to make thumbnails, you know. Um, yeah, I just make them. How? I don't know. Then I'll maybe put on some brightness, maybe to the player, so it, like stands out a bit more. Yeah, I mean that looks decent. And then you can also take some from Drippy's things. There are some effects here. Um, I'll leave the link to his stuff. Uh, you know, there's some bursts, different things here. I don't normally use them a lot, but I usually just have it in case. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, then you can, of course, put on some text, which I'm probably not gonna do. I think it just smooth like this unless you're like making some 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 special video yeah that's pretty much it guys you can save it export as then save this as well but yeah guys that's pretty much it um hope it helped you maybe it didn't well if, if that's the case then uh i'm sorry for that but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching and peace.